Hello guys, a warm welcome to all of you. Myself Sanjana Sunure. I am from class 10 CBSC from Uni Classes the and this video is recorded under all the following protocols of the COVID-19. And today I am here present to give a seminar on a science. Now science, science subject is used in the every criteria, in everywhere. Although this world is made up of the science. Today we are going to discuss science about the light. So here the light has a two lead two parts. First one is a reflection of the light and second one is a reflection of the light. In this video we are going 
going to discuss that is that is wave theory, particle theory, and quantum theory. Let us know what is a wave theory. Wave theory explains the diffraction, interference, and polar polarization, and all other things. Now the next is a particle theory. Particle theory explains the diffraction and the reflection that we are going to see in this chapter. And the next is the quantum theory. Quantum theory is given by the Albert Einstein, and this explains this explains both theory that wave theory and the uh, sorry particle theory. Now I I tell some properties of the light. Light we discussed in our previous classes also. Speed of light, interference, polarization, reflection, refraction, and diffraction, and all other things. And the main property of the light is the rectilinear propagation, which says that the light always travels in a straight line. Now let's see the reflection. Now let's come to the main point that is the reflection of the light that we are going to see in this chapter. If we talk about the, if we talk about the reflection, then it is the bouncing on the plane surface which reflects. Now the if the we are talking about the reflection, then the point is come, going to come that the laws of the reflection. So we will discuss now what are the laws of the reflection. I'll explain with the help of a diagram. The sea is a highly polished surface, and this is non-reflecting part. When the source is going to pass from here. To highly polished surface, then it may it may go to a straight line. And as we know that highly on the highly polished surface, it is going to reflect. Then it is reflected. Just imagine one line to the perpendicular as a perpendicular to highly polished surface. Okay, and uh, and this angle is going to form. Sorry. Uh, now now we will see the laws. So first law says that the reflected surface, a normal ray and a incident uh, incident ray is always lie on the plane surface. Now next up, the angle angle formed. This is high. Sorry, this is angle of incident and this one is angle of a reflected ray. So its second law says that. The angle of an incident ray is equal to the angle of a reflected ray. Now let's see the next. The, the reflect incident ray and the reflected ray is either on the side of a normal ray. Now let's. These are the three three laws which should be remembered. These are the basics for this chapter. Now see the if going to further. We should know what is actually a beam of light. Beam of a light is actually the com combination of the lights. This is, this you should remember in the mind. If we if we go further, then regular and the irregular lights. In this, the regular lights, the regular lights are those lights which are which are going to passing through the beam of a light. When the when the source is going to pass, this is the beam of a light. When the source is going to pass through a reflected surface, as we learn, it is going to the reflect. Even this shows. If we assume this is a one and this is a one, this is the incidence of a ray, and this one is reflected. And we, this is a two, and this is two, three, and three. So as we learn that angle of incidence. Is equal to the angle of reflected ray. Then it is a angle of incidence first ray, and angle of is equal to the angle of reflected first ray. And the second one will be equal, and so on. How the beam of a light are reflected, and those equal only the reflecting incident ray will be formed. Then. Then these are and these big regular regular lights are going to form on only the uh, polished highly polished surface. Obvious. If we talk about the irregular surface, they are they are always acting on the rough surface. Then if we see a rough, for the rough surface, this is a rough surface. When the beam of the light is going to pass through this, the the light. 
Then the 